Kristen Florisage here, six-time author and founder of the Florisage Therapies Institute and creator of the Professional Ethical Psychic Training and Development Program. And today is day number 19 out of 20 where we are doing free mini readings and a free mini intuition class. And because today is day 19, this will be kind of the last like little lesson day. And tomorrow we're going to do a complete review of all the days that we've done so far. Now, as you all know, if you have been attending these live live streams, <laughs> uh, please put your um, place where you're tuning in from in the comments below. And also, if you have any questions for me about enrolling in the Psychic Development Program, um, we are going to close up enrollment on Sunday, so you just have a couple days left. Um, I've actually opened up, because I've had a lot of people say, oh my God, Flora, I can't believe this is sold out. We've actually opened up just a couple more spots left for the certification program. I've rearranged my schedule just a little bit. So if you want in on the certification, I've opened up three spots. And so if you want in for the certification, click link number one below. If you want the non-certified, click link number two. And if you want to just check out what this program is all about, which is the um, Professional Ethical Psychic Training Program, click link number three. So let's pick a card for today. And then I will, oop, actually I'm, I'm guided to pick two cards. So let's see what spirit has for us today. Risk risk and choose optimism. Okay, so this is good. When we have anything going on in our life that we are getting ready to make a decision about, there's always the element of risk. There's the element, well, even when we don't, you know, do something, there's the element of risking being kind of stuck where we're at. So we're going to look at the first card first, um, which is risk. So Think about where you are today. Think about where you are with relationships, with your career, with even deciding if you want to take this program. What's the risk of staying where you're at and not doing anything? Okay, so if you, if you choose not to do anything, you choose to stay in the relationship or not develop the relationship or whatever it is, if you stay in the career or not stay in the career that you're in, if you enroll in the program, if you don't enroll in the program, think about the risk involved with each of this. Now, when you choose to not make a decision, when you choose to say, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to adjust this just a little bit, sorry. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit and just wait, or I'm, I'll just wait till next time or whatever. So the risk that you pose is staying where you're at and not moving forward, not getting out of where you're at until further notice, okay? The risk in stepping forward and saying, wait a minute, I don't like where I'm at. I know I want to change. And then the risk involved in that is figuring out which step to take. You can do step A, step B, step C, step D. So there's, there's varying degrees of risk with each one of these particular choices that you make. And so when you look at and you entertain the idea of creating change in your life or doing something different, because if you want something different, you have to do something different. And what you're doing right now obviously isn't working for you in this particular thing that this is coming up and you know bringing up for you. So allow yourself to say, okay, so what is the risk of me just staying where I'm at. What is the ramifications of that? Now, ramification is kind of a neutral term. It's good, bad, or indifferent, however we choose to perceive it. So sitting with that saying, okay, do I really like where I'm at or do I want something different? Do I want something more? Do I want something better? Do I want to go from the good and get to the great? So that's what you have to really evaluate and just say, okay, where am I at? Where do I want to be? And how can I close that gap in the most efficient way possible and hopefully in the most fun way possible. <laughs> so the next card is choose optimism. And again, this is from my Simplify Your Life Oracle card deck. This is a 92 card deluxe deck, which is super awesome. I love it. And um, so in stepping forward and taking this risk in your life, 
choose optimism. Choose to think, okay, so I'm being guided to enroll in the program or I'm being guided to stay in this relationship or get out of the relationship or stay at my career or leave my career, whatever it is. Whatever uh, you know, choice or decision that you decide to make that, yes, will involve risk because we don't know what's going to happen on the other side of a choice. It's almost like that pregnant pause, if you will, where you kind of inhale and then you do something and then you exhale and you're like, ah. and so it's that, it's that precipice, it's that moment where you make the choice and you step over that threshold and then you see the result of that choice or that action. But one of the things that you can do, and I talk about this in my Manifesting Made Easy program, as well as in my Mastering the 11 Spiritual Laws program, which I'll actually link that below. I have a free training called Mastering the 11 Spiritual Laws. It's an amazing, amazing program, and I have a free one-hour training for all of you. So click link number four to uh, sign up for the free training. Um, but anyway, so when you choose optimism and you say, okay, yes, I want to make this decision. Like I want to enroll in Flora's program or I want to leave my job or stay at my job or leave this relationship or stay in this relationship or any other choice that you are, are getting ready to make, give yourself permission to think optimistically about this, this choice, this risk and say, you know what, I'm risking really nothing right now because if I don't like where I'm at, the only thing that you're risking is getting out of it. Do you want to get out of that thing? More than likely, yes. You want something different. And so you risk kind of, you know, hurting your ego, which we all have ego and we're all like, well, shit, what choice should I make today, you know? But when you give yourself permission to think optimistically about, oh yeah, so I'm, I'm here and I don't want to be here anymore. This is where I want to get to. And I'm being guided through my intuition to take this next step forward. What's the risk involved? Well, doing something that I've never done before, um, stretching myself a little bit, getting outside of my comfort zone. But you know what? It's worth it because I'm not comfortable where I'm at. Sometimes people are uncomfortably comfortable. So the discomfort isn't big enough or great enough in order for them to actually make a change. But this is your sign from spirit to say, look, you can take that risk and you can choose to think optimistically about it um, because this is your time. This is your time to actually say, you know what? No, I don't want to be where I'm at right now. I want to go someplace further. I want to go and, and, and blossom and, and nurture my spirit in doing something else. So that is today's free mini reading. And um, so today's, I guess, little mini intuition class, I, I, I've always, you know, for these 20 days, and this is, you know, day number 19, I've always taken what's come from these cards and, and kind of brought it over into a lesson in how to use your intuition. And risk many times doesn't feel safe because it's unknown. We're like, holy shit, I have no idea what to do. Oh my God. And then we sometimes get frozen with fear and we choose not to make a decision. But when you don't make a decision, that's still making a decision. You know, you can, you can stay fixed here or you can go this way or you can go that way. I'm so sorry that I look so washed out today. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because it's snowing. That's probably why. So anyway, um, with either choice that you're making, what happens is your brain and your ego and your spirit kind of go into this battle of who is going to win, who's going to win, who's going to win. And it's usually the loudest, most annoying thing, which is usually ego. But if you give yourself permission to be quiet, to rest, to take a break, to allow yourself to say, okay, what do I really want? And feel out that answer and feel out how your intuition is naturally speaking with you all of a sudden you're going to realize where you're at isn't really where you want to be. And you're like, okay, so I'm feeling this dissonant energy. I'm feeling dissatisfied. I'm feeling like this, this stirring and this longing for something different. How can I get it? And that is when spirit will say, oh, okay, because you've asked a question. And that's the thing with spirit is we have free will and spirit has to honor free will. So, and I have a whole class about spirit guides. It's called Spirit Guides Meet and Greet. <laughs> it's super fun. But even our high self, if we don't ask a question, we're not going to get an answer. So you have to, and I've, I, I said this before, 
The quality of your answer is determined by the quality of your question. So if you're feeling that dissonant energy, if you're feeling stuck, if you feel like you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I want to enroll in the program, I don't know if I want to do this decision or that decision, whether it's you know financial or relationships or for career or anything that you're pondering right now, you're on the fence and you're, you know, you haven't made a choice and so you're just like, okay, so what do I really want to do? What do I really want to do? What feels the most in alignment with me? And when you recognize that when you pose a question to spirit, be specific. The more specific that you can be, the better. Should I enroll in Flora's program? You should get a distinct yes or no. Um, sometimes you'll get a wait because it's not right now, but it's, it's a wait is, okay, so sometimes whenever somebody asks a question, regardless if it's enrolling in this program or something else, there's a yes, no, or wait. And if it's a wait answer, that wait answer, you're going to feel that, nope, it's just not the right time. And without an explanation, that's just it. Ego gives the explanations. Spirit, it just is the answer. It's yes, no, or wait. And so when you can give yourself permission to just sit with it and say, okay, yes, and you'll feel it's this light, airy energy, it's this motivated, it's this pulling forward of any time that you get a spirit answer. It's that, it's that just, I mean, profound knowing of, okay, this is it, because there's no laundry list of reasons why. Um, so especially when it's a yes answer, it's, it's very forward moving. It's got this momentum behind it. When it is a no answer, it's normally a very settled, calm, um, not backwards motion, but it very much is just kind of that settled, calm, grounded, no answer. But again, there's no laundry list of reasons why it's just, nope, that's it. And when there's a wait, like I said, you'll get this not right now answer or the wait or maybe next time or whatever, but it's not driven by egoic things. So egoic things are, oh, I don't think I'm smart enough. I don't think that I could do it. It costs too much money. Um, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to go through the certification process, whatever it is, or whatever other question that you're pondering Pay attention to the energy behind the answer because if it's a legit yes, no, or wait from spirit, you'll feel it. You'll feel that upward momentum. You'll feel the lightness from the answer. You'll also feel just the answer or get just the answer, not the, not the, the huge laundry list of reasons. And so what happens is then when you pose that question and you say, okay, this is what I'm asking. So I wonder if I should do this or do that or the other thing. And sit with it. And again, make sure that you're very specific with spirit, with your high self, for your intuition, with the question that you're asking, and then listen for the answer. And when you get the answer, because this is something that we spoke about early on in these mini lessons, is that you'll be able to tell each person, excuse me, has a tell or that psychic on switch that when we tune in and tap into spirit, we can feel it. There is a distinct physical something, something that our body will tell us that we're getting that answer. And, um, and so allow yourself to just recognize the answer when it's coming in, how it's coming in for you. And then also give yourself permission to think optimistically about this. And that's kind of the other thing that came in today was really allow yourself to, to be optimistic because spirit loves change. Spirit loves all things new. Ego loves to keep you stuck. Ego loves routine. Ego loves to keep you in that numbed out state so that you literally don't change at all. So you're just in that space. Well, change is the only constant that we can count on in life. It really truly is. And so when you embrace that change, when you allow yourself to embrace that risk and say, you know what? I know that I'm not happy where I'm at. I know that I want something different. I know that making this step or, or enrolling in Flora's program or doing anything else that I, I want to do feels like a risk. It's stretching me. It's putting me outside of my comfort zone, but I'm getting a hell yeah. I'm getting a really amazing yes with this. And yeah, there's some fear behind it because ego is going, well, shit, now they're going to make a change and they're not going to listen to me anymore. Yada, yada, you know, but you're getting that, that fear of, oh my gosh, this is really exciting. And so a lot of times, and this is something that I actually talk about in my program 
is that fear and excitement physiologically feel the same. Energetically, they feel different. Excitement is very expansive, but you have the racing heart, you have all these thoughts, you're like, oh my gosh, maybe your palms sweat, but your energy is very expansive. Fear, on the other hand, is very tight. It's very closed off. To me, it feels like a straight jacket. And your breathing quickens, your heart races, your palms might sweat. And so if you're feeling fear, sit with it and ask yourself, does it feel really tight or does it feel really expansive? And am I willing to move through that to get to the other side to see what happens? Yay! Because that's what happens, you know, when we feel that whatever we're doing, there's a risk involved. Sit with that risk, sit with that feeling, and choose to feel optimistic about what it is that you're feeling. And that's the thing, is that use your intuition. I've given you a ton of little mini lessons that all kind of, you know, mesh into today's lesson, is pose the question and ask yourself, Am I really willing and ready to make a change? Do I want to change first and foremost? It could be, eh, I don't, I don't need to change. I don't want to change. And again, that could be ego. Pay attention to the energy behind it. Pay attention if there's a laundry list of reasons or if it's a spirit led like, oh, hell yeah, let's do this. So, but again, also choose optimism about it. So, um, let me see who we have here. So if you have any questions about enrolling in the Psychic Development Program, please post them in the comments below or send me an email, flora at florasage.com. I know we've gotten a ton of questions in email. I was answering them today and it's been amazing interacting with all of you there. It's been exciting. Okay, so we have Matthew from Northern California. Hello, Matthew. I hope that dam is okay. I know I haven't uh, checked on it um, recently. Uh, my, my oldest son and I were looking at YouTube videos. It was like a live stream of one of the dams up there, and it was like, ooh, kind of scary. So I hope everybody was able to be evacuated. We have Nita. Hello, hello. Yay. We have Alicia from Oregon. Hello, hello. I love seeing all your comments today on the Facebook page. Um, April from Ontario, Canada. Deborah from Tampa, Florida. Yay. Hello, Simon. Yay, from Illinois. <laughs> um, let me see. We have Leah from Oregon. Simon says, extra goodies. Yay. Yes, I love extra goodies. <laughs> Karen, good morning, good morning, good morning, Karen. Linda from Toronto. Yay. I love you all. This is so awesome. Uh, Karen says, fixing the cracks in my foundation. Yes, yes, yes. You know, whenever we allow ourselves to really recognize the next steps, right there, that's huge. Because when you recognize the next step that you need to take or that you want to take or that you feel guided to take, that very much is the first step to the rest of your life. It's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Catherine says, love you, so inspirational. Oh, thank you so much, Catherine, yay. <laughs> That's my niece's name. Um, Sherry from sunny, sunny Florida. Yes, today it's cloudy and blowing snow. We were supposed to get, I think, seven to 18 inches or something, but it actually stayed south of us, and so I think we're just supposed to get a couple inches. So um, let me see if I can actually turn around. So you can see, I don't know if you can see how much it's blowing, but that's my deck. And a few days ago, it was like 60 degrees. It was pretty nice. Like totally, I was in like shorts and tank top. It was awesome. <laughs> um, let me see. Catherine, beautiful words radiate the room. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it's spirit. So, <laughs> Jay Quillen. Of course, I'm going to call you that from now on. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Good afternoon, Flora. It is afternoon. Yay. <laughs> um, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Hello. I love seeing you here in my timeline. Um, Jacqueline, I'm so, I'm so excited to start. I cannot wait. Yes, I'm so excited to have you in this program. Oh my gosh, we have such an amazing group of people so far that have signed up. Oh my gosh, I can't even stand it. And we're starting on Monday. So if you're interested, Please click the links below. Click link number one to join the certification. I've opened up three more spots. Click link number two to join as a non-certified um, you know, person. And also know that if you do the non-certified track, there's some um, swans. 
How cool. There's two swans. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. That's like my squirrely side of me. So um, if you sign up, you can um, also bring your minor children through the program for free. Just FYI. Um, and then click link number three to check out the program page. If you haven't checked it out already, you can see all the details, all the features of the program and also the benefits. And click link number four, which is my free manifesting made easy, or not my manifesting made easy, my manifesting, what am I trying to say? Mastering the 11 spiritual laws, free training. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. <laughs> so um, let me see who we have here still. We've got Amy. Hello, hello. Um, Simon says, I know that this is not about the program, but I was curious about how you made your Oracle cards. Well, Simon, this is actually part of the program. I actually teach all of my people in the program how to create all of, or, you know, these cards as well as, hang on, I also have these smaller cards. This is my Mastering the 11 Spiritualized Affirmation. That's actually a bonus class for um, everybody who enrolls is they get access to that uh, business master class on how to create your own Oracle card decks. So if you want to know, you have to, you're, you're you know, going to have to sign up for it because that is trade secrets. <laughs> Yay. But yes, um, that is part of the program. So I'm super glad that you asked about that, Simon. Hi, Melissa. Yay. Um, let me see. We have Jacqueline. I really needed to, let me see, uh, really need to get a name for my husband. He uses your nickname for me. I need one for him. So his name is James. How would you, let me see. Let me write it down. Hang on. James. Um, Jamise? <laughs> I don't know. Because it was D-Nice, A.A. Ron, Balake, Jaquelin. Jamise? Maybe Jamise. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. <laughs> We'll have to make one. This is fun. I love that. Yay. Um, Melissa said, joining the program live this time. Super excited. And since our planetary change is coming, expecting an easier time this time. LOL. Yes, yes, yes. Sunday is a new moon. I'm so pumped about it. And it's the new moon in Pisces, which has very watery, amazing, amazing energy. Oh, my goodness. And it's a solar eclipse. Uh, for those of you who have gone through my 29-day moon challenge book, you know all about the solar eclipses and how they affect you. If you haven't gone through the book, I would recommend that you do so. That will actually be link number five below. Um, I know I'm posting a lot of links below this, but um, check out the book because it's really good. So, yay! All right, so we're going to get off here. It is a little afternoon. And, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So tomorrow is going to be our wrap up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through day by day on what I've taught you so far. And, you know, in, these, in, in, in all of these little mini classes, I've only been able to teach you just a small portion of each of these things. And in the psychic development training, I actually elaborate and expand like a thousandfold about each of these topics and how each of these topics builds on your psychic foundational, um, well, foundation, and, and really allowing yourself to build that solid foundation for your psychic abilities, for your sixth sense, will give you that confidence in using your intuition on a daily basis, no matter what you're doing, okay? So click link number one to join as a certified member. Click link number two to join for the non-certified track. Click link number three to check out the program page for the Psychic Development Program. Click link number four for the free training for the Mastering the 11 Spiritual Laws Program. That will uh, teach you how to manifest uh, lots of really fun things. And click link number five for my 29-day Moon Challenge uh, book. This is a workbook. So the first portion, I riff about the 29-day Moon Challenge, what it is how you can benefit and why you can benefit from it. Then there's another chapter called The Pudding, because the proof is in the pudding. Um, and that's testimonials of people and stories of people who have been through the 29-Day Moon Challenge. And then it gives you space
space to actually conduct your own 29 day moon challenge for you so that you can see how the lunar and solar uh, energies affect you on a daily basis and it is huge yay um let me see simon says is that an ebook uh no it is a regular book let me see actually i have it right here hang on let me grab it this is the 29 day moon challenge yay and um it's a workbook this is this is kind of part two so i did the simple sabbat years ago um, where we celebrate the solar uh, occurrences like the equinoxes and the uh, solstices. And this, a lot of people wanted me to do a simple S-bot, but that's not so simple because the moon affects people differently uh, in different ways throughout the year. And so this is the opportunity um, for you to go through a journey with yourself and the lunar uh, cycles so that you can really allow yourself to know for you how each of the lunar cycles affect you. And oh my gosh, it literally is life changing. I've had people send me just crazy amazing stories. I had this one client who has an autoimmune disease and every year she would end up in the hospital and she's like, oh my gosh, I really don't like this. And so I recommended that she do this, this book and from then on, she has not been in the hospital. And the reason why is that every time there was a, a, a um, full moon, she was zapped of energy. She was drained all the time. And that's when she would had her heaviest work cycles. That's when she scheduled all of her vacations and all these other things. And she realized that she was basically like working herself to death and working herself to the bone. And so um, that's something that when you can actually recognize how the moons affect you and, and the cycles affect you, whether the new moon or the full moon or the waxing or waning moons, um, then you can actually plan accordingly. Well, once she realized that all of her heavy, you know, lifting stuff was during the, the full moon, she realized, oh my gosh. And so she switched her cycle so that all of her heavy stuff, all of her vacations and all that stuff was doing that, that, you know, two week, uh, new moon waxing, waning, you know, part, you know, closer to the new moon, um, energies. That's when she did all of that. And then she's like, and then, you know, during the full moon, she actually, took it easy and, and she didn't do a lot of her heavy lifting stuff. And then since then she hasn't been in the hospital. And that was some, that's a true testament of how this book can actually change your life. Because when you are mindful of the energies of you and everybody around you and how the moon is interacting and influencing you, it's a game changer. I mean, it literally is a game changer. So I'll post the link below. Once the video is finished, I'll grab the links. I'll post them all below for, so hang tight. Go to my main Facebook page, sit there for just a moment, refresh the pages, and you'll see when all of the links pop in below. For those of you who are watching the replay, they're already below. You can just click on them. Yay! So see, we had a couple questions real quick. Um, Catherine says, are the, links, are the links on your Facebook page? This isn't like your Facebook group. Wait, this isn't like your Facebook group where it is below the video, trying to figure out these Facebook features. Um, isn't, oh, isn't like your YouTube channel. Yes. So hang tight. Um, as soon as this video is done, I, I just click publish and then I pop in, I grab all the links and I'll paste them in the comments below. So hang tight. Okay. Um, thank you, Alicia. She says she'll post them when she's done. <laughs> so you have to wait a few minutes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. Um, is this your main Facebook page? Yes. This is my business Facebook page. So go ahead and just click on click on that clink on Flora Sage. Hang out here for just a few moments and I'll post all the links below the video and stay tuned because tomorrow, like I said, we're going to be doing a complete review of everything, all the topics that we've spoke about and that I've taught you so far. Okay. Yay. Awesome. All right. I love you all. And I will see all of you hopefully on the other side in the inner circle in this program. But for sure, I want to see all of you here tomorrow for our review. All right. I love you all. Bye.